How do you install ICM Controls ICM 870 Soft Start? Today I'm going to show you how to install a soft start on an air conditioning system so that the air conditioning system will require less maintenance over the lifetime of the air conditioning system. It also lasts longer. If you're watching HVAC Tips for Technicians, I'm Tad and today we're installing a soft start. Here's the outdoor unit. This is where we're going to install our ICM 870 control. This is a three ton unit, 36,000 BTUs, and the compressor motor pulls 74 amps upon startup. Well, how do we know that? It says locked rotor amps and run load amps. So run load amps, the compressor should pull around 13 when it's running. When it starts up, it pulls about five or six times that of the run load amps. So we're going to reduce this locked rotor amps by at least 50%, maybe even more, by installing this control. This is the 16 amp model, but there are 9 amp model, 16 amp model, and I'm pretty sure there's a 32 amp model. So let's go ahead and get started by taking our control panel off. And we're going to measure the amp draw of the compressor before we put this control on, and then after. Got my drill, 5 16 We've got three screws, and now we've got those screws disconnected. There's already a hard start on this, so we will remove that because we have a built in hard start in here, which is really nice. So let's go ahead and take out the contents of the box. There's the device right here. You can see ICM 870. We've got a nice little conduit for our wiring. And then we've got four wires. So pretty easy installation, only four wires. What else do we have in the package? We have our hardware. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have a, a pair of wire strippers and wire crimping tools. Now I'm gonna measure the amp draw of the compressor on startup, and the way I do that is by turning my meter, my SC440 meter, to the AAC, hit the select, hit the inrush button twice. Actually, I think, yeah, twice. And I am on the common wire. Okay, so I'm gonna show you on the schematic what wire I have this meter wrapped around. You see the one that says C, and it's black, BLK? That's the wire. So, let's see what kind of amp draw we have. 78, wow. Now, let me show you how to install the ICM 870. And we're gonna go ahead and check with our meter, the compressor's amp draw after we install this product. Before we install this product, we wanna make sure that we disconnect the power from the air conditioning system. If you've got a breaker, flip your breaker off. If you've got a non-fuse 60 amp disconnect like this, then disconnect it. That way we don't get shocked. We're gonna go over the installation of this together. We have four wires, okay? The red and the blue wire is what we're gonna go over first. The red wire goes to the common terminal of the run capacitor, and the blue wire goes to the HERM terminal of the run capacitor. This is a dual capacitor inside the unit. So we're gonna place the red wire on the common, okay? This is the common, it has a C. Okay, the blue wire is gonna go on the Herm. Okay, very easy. Now we have two more wires. Okay, we're gonna start with the brown wire. The brown wire is gonna to go to the run of the compressor, so the R terminal. Now we need to look at our schematic so we can know exactly what wire that is. You see we've got a R and that's the run and we've got a red wire going from the compressor to the contactor. This is the load side of the contactor. 
So where is this wire at here? It's right here, okay? This one right here. So we're gonna disconnect this wire like this. Now that we've disconnected this wire that goes straight to the R terminal of the compressor, we're gonna take and cut it. After we cut it, we're gonna strip it. After we strip it, we're gonna take and remove this end off of the brown wire. We're gonna take both of these wires and we're gonna put this right over the top. And what are we doing right now? We're joining these two wires together. You need to make sure you have a crimping tool if you do and you know how to make a good crimp, there you go. Make sure you pull on it, make sure it won't come out. And now we have one more wire, and that's the black wire. And the black wire, it says that it goes to the OL, that is the overload. And that then goes to the C terminal of the compressor. If you need to take a look at the schematic, take a look at the schematic. And you can see right here, the black wire comes from the contactor and goes to, oh, we got something on the schematic there, goes to the C, which then goes to the OLP right here. Hopefully you can see that. So we have one more wire and that is the black wire and it goes to L1. And we are going to take this spade connector here, spade terminal, and we're gonna crimp with our crimping tool that's connected and I'm gonna show you where to put it. See right here where this black wire is? We're gonna take and put that right there on that male spade up there. Okay, now we're not gonna mount this. We're just installing this temporarily so that you can see the installation, how to wire it up. And I wanna show you a couple things. There are wire ties in here. If you want to drill a half inch hole, you can use this as a sleeve to run the wires. If you wanted to mount this right here underneath this panel, you can mount it right here. It doesn't take a lot of room up. And then you can take this and install it here. You can use a knockout kit. You can use a unibit. You can use a drill bit and you can drill a half inch hole. This looks like half inch connector here. And then you can run all these wires through it. Just wanted to show you that. I'm excited, I'm ready to take a look at the amp draw now. Now, let's plug this neck back in. Like so. Select, inrush current. Here we go. 22 amps, wow. That's quite a reduction. And you can see we got a green LED, so everything looks good. I had enough room to mount the soft start inside, so it will be out of the weather, but it can be mounted outdoor or indoor. So if you've got enough room inside, mount it inside. But if you've got enough room outside or you want to save room inside, then mount it outside. Now I'm going to put my panel on. All right. Putting the panel back on. And there is definitely enough room inside for the soft start. Link in the description for the product. It's around $150. And the competition sells this same product for double. So $300, you can get the same product, but from a different brand. I would definitely check out ICM Controls, link in the description for the ICM 870 and make sure that you check what your model should be, whether it be the 9 amp or the 16 amp. Many splits like this and other high efficiency equipment already have inverter boards and three phase components and they have soft start features. So you don't have to install the ICM 870 control on mini splits and high efficiency equipment only on your single stage or your two stage equipment. That's when you wanna install a soft start so that you can take advantage of that component and the benefits. 
Price comparison here, their 9 amp soft start, the 870 is $153 at supplyhouse.com. Then you come over here and you got the Micro Air Easy Start and it is 327 to 329. So you're looking at double the price and I'm pretty sure just about every feature that this has, this has. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something. If you did learn something, let me know what it was down in the comments. If you got a question, let me know what your question is because questions can lead to content. But if you don't have a question, that's okay. Let me know who you are and where you're from. And if you've ever installed a product like the one that I showed you today in this video, let me know what brand it was. Let me know what experience you had so I can check out the other comparable models like the one that I had today. Really appreciate you watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, smash that bell, ding, so you know what I'm doing. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.